We've just landed in North Yorkshire. We're in Kaywood, which is about 10 miles south of York. And we're just going off with these two experts to have a look at what uh, kind of disease might be lurking in the crops. So presumably we are seeing some septoria this year. Uh, yeah, we are. Um, we've just had uh, give, been given the rainfall for this area, which is 300 mils since October. So there's plenty of reason for a splash spread, etc., that we would see in these crops. And there's, yeah, a really nice lesion or two we've got here in barrel. We've got it now in the base of the crop. This is October drilled, first week in October. And really, we've only got leaf four, which is about that far out, right, yeah. David. So we're behind where we would anticipate normally. So we've been just looking at some winter wheat, Jonathan. What have we been seeing here? Done is a bit of septoria, a little bit of brown rust actually in the Crusoe's held on, you know, right. on following that very warm uh, October. Is this worrying? Because these levels are, if anything, a little lower than we sometimes see yeah. uh, across this time of year. And is um, that because of the late spring? Yeah, I think the, the late spring is, is probably holding back the crop, it's holding back the disease as well, um, which probably does play into the hands of whether or not we do need an STHI at C1 on some of these more resistant varieties. Yeah. I think we could perhaps be looking at azole multi-site T1s rather than uh, going the whole hog and uh, that could be sufficient to keep the crop clean till T2.